we're the Wolferts. We're the grandparents of Gabby and Kiernan, who both eventually became patients at Albany Med. Uh, our granddaughter was about five when she was diagnosed with a lymphoma. When the news came that she had a 90% survival rate with her lymphoma, uh, it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, that we were all ecstatic and we knew that they had done everything to see what they could do for her. And the tumor went away completely and hasn't come back. She's 10 now. Then our newest grandson, Kiernan, was five days old when he began having seizures. Uh, eventually they did uh, genetic testing and found a, a gene had mutated. And the good news was this gene only is active in the first six months of brain development. So the theory was after six months, it, it becomes inactive and the seizures should quit. And it, that is what's happened. This gene that was deviant affected his brain development. And their fast action, in my opinion, most likely stopped my grandchild from having brain damage. So at a year, he's off the meds with absolutely no seizures, healthy, vibrant, and this child is happy. The first introduction to a hospital is very important. There was no pediatric emergency room. They went to the emergency room where everybody else goes. I think everybody can envision an ER. And if you think of taking a small child into that environment, and having them wait there and watch, I think it is a, a fearful, frightening experience. If uh, a child can go through the medical system without being traumatized, especially at the very beginning, I think their whole experience would be better. And a better experience probably leads to a better outcome. If you have an ER where it's all young people and I, I think it's much softer. I think it's easier for the staff to come in and grab these children and take them in. And the, it's a floating experience where there's no very minimal trauma. I think it helps the staff too because when they receive the child, they receive the child in the best state for them to do the treatment. Overall, I'm impressed that Albany Med is going to have this facility, as I read, one of the first in the northeastern section of the country. We can't say enough for what Albany Med did for our grandchildren. <laughs>